so welcome students for our course basics in structural analysis let's begin today with what do you mean by analysis on your screen you must be looking at the statement analysis is the first step in design of structures all of us know that's why we learn analysis in the earlier semesters and design in the later semesters because once we analyze the end of analysis is getting the bending moment, getting the shear forces, getting, getting the axial forces and getting the twisting moments or torsions. And then based on the analysis, we can design the structures to carry that much shear force, that much bending moment, that much torsion and that much uh, axial load. So analysis is the first step of design. Analysis aids at shear force diagram, bending moment diagram axial force diagram and st uh, structural design starts at getting axial forces in the members for what axial force you need to design the member for what shear force you need to design the member for what bending moments you need to design the member there starts your actual design so it is the first step of design of structures analysis and then analysis what do you mean by exact analysis analysis is the response of the structure to the applied loads when you apply loads on the structures due to uh, there may be self load of the structure or there may be imposed loads on the structure or there may be various loads on the structures then the structure gives the response to the applied loads in the form of axial force in the form of shear force in the form of bending moment or in the form of twisting moment or torsion that is the response of the structure these are the internal forces that are developed in the structure and that we know as analysis. So the last step of analysis is getting axial force diagram, shear force diagram, bending moment diagram. So the, there must be a question in everybody's mind, every learner's mind. What do you mean by axial force? Let us understand what do you mean by axial force. Let's understand the simple definition of these terms. What do you mean by axial force? What do you mean by shear force? What do you mean by bending moment? And what do you mean by twisting moment or torsion? So as far as two dimensional structures are concerned, we will concentrate ourselves only to axial force, shear force and bending moment. Because in basic structural analysis, we are going to deal with axial force, shear force and bending moment. We are going to deal with only two dimensional structure. So as the name indicates, axial force, axial force, let us say, this is any structural member, let us say a beam. Let us say a beam. This is any structural member beam. And let us say this is axis of the beam. This is axis of the beam. Any structural member that is beam, axis of the beam. A force that is acting along the axis of the member is known as axial force. The force that is acting along the axis of the member is known as axial force. The force that is acting in the direction of axis of the member is known as axial force. So this is axial force. Axial force is the force acting in the direction of the axis of the member or along the axis of the member that is known as axial force. Now, what do you mean by shear force? Let's understand shear force. What do you mean by shear force? A simple definition of shear force. Shear force, again, we will draw a structural member. Let us say a same beam we will draw. A beam member we will draw. Let us say we are drawing a beam. We are drawing a beam and let us say this is the axis of the beam again just like the previous case axial force a shear force is the force that is acting perpendicular to the axis of the member that is trying to shear up that is trying to tear up the beam that is known as shear force so this is shear force shear force is the force that is acting in a direction perpendicular to the axis of the member that is known as shear force so axial force acts along the axis of the member or parallel to the axis of the member but shear force is the force that is act that acts perpendicular to the axis of the member now the last definition is bending moment bending moment is any moment or any couple we have seen the concept of moment in our mechanics course engineering mechanics course basic engineering mechanics course so bending moment is the moment which tries to bend the member along its axis which bends the axis of the members let us say this is a member 
and this is the axis of the member so bending moment is a moment or a couple that tie tries to bend let us say this is a couple that tries to bend the member and then that tries to bend the axis of the member if we apply you can imagine if we apply this type of couple to the uh, particular beam the beam will bend like this beam will have the deflected shape like this and then the axis of the beam will be bending like this the axis will not be a straight axis the axis of the beam also will bend so this is known as bending moment so shear force axial force and bending moment definitions shear force is the force which is acting perpendicular to the axis of the member axial force is the force which is acting along the axis of the member or parallel to the axis of the member and bending moment is the moment that is acting uh, that is acting the bending moment is the moment or couple that tries to bend the axis of the structural member so these are the basic definitions now my friends it will be worth noticing or worth interesting to know what are the sign conventions for shear force and bending moment and axial force so sign conventions for shear force bending moment and axial force for our course we will use these sign conventions throughout our course so my sign conventions for axial force are like this let us say that this is a beam let us say this is a beam or any structural member initially we will consider that this is a beam this is the axis of the beam and let us say this is my axial force now look at this axial force this axial force is trying to compress the beam this axial force is trying to compress the beam so this is compressive force this axial force is trying to compress the beam this is compressive force and compressive force i will consider as negative axial force so naturally when compressive force is considered as negative you must be right that the tensile force the force that is trying to cause the tension in the beam just like this look at this diagram the force let us say the axial force the force acting along the axis of the member is trying to create tension at the beam that is known as tensile force or tension force tensile force i will consider tensile force sign conventions positive this side these sign conventions will be followed throughout our course so this is very important to know what are the sign conventions at present so sign conventions for compressive load they are positive negative compressive and tensile positive is tensile compressive force is considered to be negative axial force and tensile force is considered to be positive axial force similarly it will be interesting to see the sign conventions for shear force the sign conventions for shear force are let us say this is any beam and this is the axis of the beam we know the definition of shear force that the force that is perpendicular to the axis of the member that is shear force let us say the force is let us any section xx and the force is acting to the left of the section so this left up and right down will be considered as positive shear force now my friends how to remember this left up of the section and right down of the section is considered to be positive shear force how to remember this imagine these two couple acting on a beam now everybody will agree that these two forces will try to rotate this beam in a clockwise direction these two forces if they are applied to the beam and if i hinge the beam if i pin the beam at the center or if i pin the beam at a particular section these two will try to rotate the beam in a clockwise direction and that is considered to be positive so this is positive shear force sign conventions that is left of the section up right of the section down is considered to be positive shear force and now look at the sign conventions of negative shear force look at this diagram exactly opposite to the the smart students must have noticed it must have uh, solved it must have given the answers so what are the conventions for negative shear force left of the section down right of the section up if the shear force is acting left of the section in a downward direction or if the shear force is acting right of the section in upward direction it is considered to be negative shear force now look at this if this couple is allowed to act on the beam and if the beam is pinned at the section if the beam is pinned at the section this couple will try to rotate the beam in an anti clockwise direction and that is why the shear force is considered to be negative so we have seen the definition of axial force shear force 
bending moment and we have also seen the sign conventions what do you mean by positive axial force what do you mean by negative axial force what do you mean by positive shear force and what do you mean by negative shear force the last thing in this section is sign convention for bending moment the sign conventions for bending moments are simple like this just a minute sign conventions for bending moments they are like this if this is any beam and let us say again imagine that there is we have taken one section which is passing maybe through the center of this particular beam then if a couple is in such a fashion that left of the section it is acting clockwise left of the section it is acting clockwise right of the section if the couple is acting anti clockwise now definitely you can imagine if these two couples are allowed to act on the left hand side or on the right hand side the beam will get deflected in this particular fashion the beam will get deflected the deflected shape of the beam will be in this particular fashion this deflected shape is known as sagging moment is known as sagging shape and this moment is considered as positive bending moment the sagging bend moment is considered to be positive bending moment let us revise it that if we allow anti uh, if we allow the clockwise couple acting to the left of the section or anti clockwise couple acting to the right of the section both of them will try to sag the beam both of them will try to give this type of shape to the beam and that is considered to be a sagging bending moment now what about negative bending moment sagging we, sagging bending moment we consider as positive bending moment let us say this is any beam let us say this is any section xx which is passing through the center of the beam let us say like this and let us say the uh, moments or the couple on the left hand side is acting anti clockwise direction and to the right hand side if it is acting in clockwise direction now you can imagine if the left hand side moment or left hand side couple is anti clockwise and right hand side couple is clockwise you can imagine the beam will bend in this particular direction this shape of the beam is known as hogging shape and hogging moments are considered to be negative bending moment friends initially for our discussions you need to keep these diagrams uh, in front of your uh, 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 you need to re refer these diagrams uh, initially for quite often than not but later on it will be habitual to you and you will be able to write the shear force axial force and bending moments and you will be able to calculate shear force axial force and bending moments with proper uh, sign conventions so let's revise once again before we finish this video analysis is the first step of design of the structure analysis aims at getting shear force but uh, bending moment diagram as well as uh, axial force diagrams and then based on these diagrams we can design the structure that is why analysis is the first step of design of the structure and analysis is nothing but the response of the structure to the applied loads axial force shear force and bending moments are the three forces uh, with which the structure gives the response in two dimensional structural analysis so in basics of structural analysis we are going to learn about two dimensional structural analysis so this is what we are going to learn in this particular uh, course so this is the first step that is what knowing what is axial force what is shear force what is bending moment and what are the sign conventions what is mean by positive axial force what is mean by negative axial force what is mean by positive shear force what is mean by negative shear force and what is what do you mean by positive bending moment and what do you mean by negative bending moment i hope your ideas are clear and you will remember these conventions forever thank you for the time being